Hey there, ex-gay brothers. I'm here in Chachuchak Park in the north of Bangkok. And this is something that I used to do a lot when the Lord had newly delivered me from the gay lifestyle, from alcohol and drug addiction, from a pit of sin. I would go out and I had a dog named Snoopy, a little basset hound mix, bl black and white, with short legs and long ears, and I would go out and walk him circles and circles for hours and hours and hours in the park. So, the reason that I was walking him is that I felt at home, I felt in fear. The enemy would, would attack me in the mind and I would feel fearful and I would feel lonely and I would feel things that would make me feel like I might actually go back and um, go back and be triggered to act on my old habits. And so I went out and tried to walk it off, you might say. Now before I did that, obviously higher priorities than going out and walking in the park are prayer as an attack against the work of the enemy in the mind, against loneliness, against fear, against anger, against the triggers that, that provoke us. We pray daily to the Lord. We read the Bible daily. We praise daily, right? Praise is a weapon. We attend church regularly every Sunday. And we get plugged into our local church, so we begin to serve in some kind of ministry. We find out who we are in Christ through service. The Lord reveals who we are and the gifts that He's given us. And then in our free time, the idle time is the devil's workshop. A lot of parents have told us that growing up. Idle time is the devil's workshop. So true. So we need to get out and fight the fear and fight the loneliness by keeping ourselves busy, keeping ourselves productive. The Lord has many things for us to do. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. So as the Lord gets us a little further down the path, he can train us, we can pray for Him to train us, to give us training wheels in sharing our testimony and being bold lights and witnesses in the church and outside of the church, even on the street to minister to people and bear witness to what the Lord's done for us, that He can do it for other people, that Jesus came to die on the cross for our sins, that we're all sinners. Jesus paid it all, all to Him we owe. We must repent and put our faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the only way to heaven. Stay in the fight, brothers. If you haven't joined the fight yet, repent and follow Jesus. Trust Jesus today. He's the only way. With God, all things are possible. Praise the Lord.